Yo, 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 what is up, my peeps? It is DJ, and I'm back with some more Minecraft. Duh. <laughs> uh, what do I gotta do today? Mm, I don't know. I've got some stuff to build. I know that. I got three days off, and I'm gonna do some building. Uh, listen to some tunes for now. I know I gotta get rid of that. <clears throat> it's time for you to go. Uh, that and... Let's run over here real quick. This is kind of funny. I did not do this. Uh, I also have to get rid of that. I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking we're going to have a blast getting rid of it. But anyway, uh, see this guy here? Read. Criminal awaiting trial. Please do not disturb the prisoner. Ask Judge Max Javius any questions regarding the case. And it's a pigman with a diamond sword. Uh, the story goes as I heard it. This is the pigman that killed our buddy Dobbs while in the nether and stole his diamond sword. And then since, you know, he had a, a foreign object, he didn't ever despawn. And I mean, literally days later, Max trapped him. I don't know if he was trapped for days, but anyway, Max trapped him and days later brought him here. And he's awaiting trial. And Max, I guess, apparently has, has appointed himself judge. Well, whatever. <laughs> uh, he's a good man. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, we gotta deal with that sometime soon. I wanna get rid of that, but I figure we'll wait before, till that happens. Uh, we're gonna have some sort of trial. Uh, I don't know, he kinda looks guilty. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so one thing I definitely know I need to work on is, uh, these guys. This is becoming a nuisance a little bit. Uh, not only the way, you know, you get in there and feed them. Let me show you since it is feeding time but it gets a little crazy Ooh, get out of the way seeds get I don't want none of you it gets a little crazy when it uh, when it's full in here Ooh, I better eat a couple of your brothers here real quick uh, it's like a cow orgy in here yeah I said it but look at this look at this you know this isn't very convenient feeding and uh, some people are complaining about uh, <clears throat> Duplo uh, about these guys lagging them down and I've kept coming back and finding them cut down while well, I figured out Duplo was taking it upon himself to cut me coos down and uh, probably running away with some free steak <laughs> uh, anyway now he has a point and he brought up today about packets when all these cows turn their heads or something you know or make any general action you know from you or the weed or anything it's it's a whole bunch of them I mean you kinda see how their their movements are stuttering a little bit uh, but anyway so what I'm gonna do is make a cow farm to where they're all uh, I made one like this in our old world I just wish I had things to show you guys but I'm kind of going to replicate the system I had with a, a few different twists. I kind of, I have an idea for when the babies come shooting out of uh, of uh, where they're all going to be in a. I'm going to go with the, like the cell system, you know, where you have a bunch of cows in one square, and I'm gonna. I was thinking like a baby bursting, a baby cow bursting system to where uh, I will, you know, breed the cows, give them all horny and stuff, and and getting it on. And then they breed these little little wonky-eyed fools down here, <laughs> and some sort of a piston door to make them just go, you know, and instead of you know as they're bred they spit out. But I want to make them just burst out. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So I was thinking right down here. Uh, at first, I was thinking down over there where my beam is, where the skeleton farm is, and just continuing on the. Uh, the cave system I have, but uh, Duplo made a great point, and it's kind of something I was already considering. Is uh, this is going to be more of a community uh, steakhouse because we don't need everyone having a cow farm. I mean, one good cow farm source is is all we need, and uh, pro I mean, you know, everyone can have little farms and everything, but nothing like like what I'm doing here uh, to supply everyone with steaks. Uh, you know. Uh, animals lag the server, and that's all there is to it. But anyway, I'm thinking right down here. That way I can, you know, just be free with uh, what I put in the walls and all that. And uh, just, uh, you know, not go very deep, but just right here. And it's convenient because the cows are right here. Maybe I'll leave, like, a couple in here just to show, you know, like a graze, grazing cow system. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking right here. So what do you guys think? Yeah, mm -hmm. well, let's get on with it. All right, so far, this is what I've got. Uh, 
just a cavern pretty much right now. And check this out. I just literally dug in here. Not only is it symmetric with what I dug out, but it kind of reminds me right now of a cow nose, but makes me want to make make a cow head or something. I don't know yet. And I'm not good at that stuff. Um, and I also don't... I, I'm using Sfax, so I'm not just going to make a brown head. So I was going to look at what the vanilla cow is or something if they're maybe there's like an 8-bit pattern or something you know I could look up or or look at on online and read I don't know it just makes me think cow head so uh, anyway this is probably I don't know exactly how but uh, this is the room that I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have where where we, we, we pff, oh, wow where we would feed the cows they would hop up and down because like I said I'm gonna do the one cell thing and then down here, uh, collection area, uh, killing area maybe. I also have thoughts maybe of, hmm, maybe I won't go down. Maybe I will elevator the cows up into a, like a little, I don't know, just a little, a little thing above, like a hub upstairs. So after you breed them a while and they, you know, get sucked up, uh, then, you know, after a while coming along, you don't have to come back all the way down here and kill them. Maybe, maybe that's, I'll contemplate that. I don't know. But either way, I'm going to have them go up there or I'll have the, the killing area down here. Because I do want to make the, the baby blaster. The baby cow boom blaster whatever 9000. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is what I got so far. Alrighty, peeps. I got this all dug out. A little bit a little bit deeper that way. Uh, I got my four cow stations. I went with white glass so we could see all through it. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, putting some pistons down here and retracting this specific block uh, in front of each one up and down. Because, uh, you know, I spoke of the, the baby blaster. So what I think it's going to do is I'll hit a button. Uh, I'm picturing it like this. They'll I'll, I'll breed all the cows. They'll be full of babies in here. This block will on each hole will be up. I'll hit a button, they'll lower from pistons below, and we can watch all the babies just go <laughs> that way. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm still thinking of making them pop up top, like kind of a, a snorkel system for the cows to poop out top, and then when when they grow up, you can just come along and cut them or hit a button or whatever, whatever we're going to do. Um, Oh, you know, I just had a thought. Maybe you could make it redirectable to different killing stations. Uh, that would take up a lot of space, but I did like doing that back on our old server. Uh, I, made, I made a video a long time ago of my my cow uh, cow. What was it? A slaughter a slaughterhouse. That's what it was. Uh, I'll leave a link right there. And uh, it was it was really cool, and I kind of liked the different concepts of killing the cows instead of just the same old, like, let's push a button and have lava pour on their faces, or looting sword, which will still be available, because looting sword hole was always good. But yeah, this is what I got so far. Uh, making it pretty, uh, trying to make it to where it's all see-through. Uh, I'll probably take the walls out and interior decorate a little, but yeah, this is the concept I have so far, so I'm going to develop on this, because I want to see those baby cows just Marrr! across the screen. <laughs> It's so weird. All right, let me dig some more and build some more, and I'll show you some more. All right, this is what I got so far. I got the flushing system, or, well, I got the water system, which would be this. The cows will start jumping up and down. I got the cover so they can't get out. Uh, and if the babies run in here, hey, I got a, I got a visitor. <laughs> What's up, Dobbs? Uh, and then you can either leave it on, but most likely you'd shut it off by then. There'll be a bunch of babies down in here with the parents, and they'll be ready to just burst out. And so the flick of this will lower all of these pistons, and they should go across the screen. I keep doing that. That's what I want to hear when I when they do that. Uh, I'm hoping they don't get horizontal falling damage. Once we get more beacons, we should spread them out 100 blocks, level 4, so the whole area is boosted. Yeah, good idea. Except all the beams. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is what I got so far. So I need to do a little bit more as far as bringing the cows up or wherever the hell they're going. And I need to fill them with cows. And uh, one reason I put it here is I'm going to filter this wheat production down to here. So I always have a good supply of wheat down here to feed the cows. Uh, yeah, so that's where I'm going with this. So, four beacons, four beams, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, Dobbs. I don't know anything about beacons. I just had the first one. Dobbs has a beacon now. That's why he's 
wondering probably. You can see he's got his own at his castle. We've got my little scarecrow. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, I had an idea for a shooting range. I was hoping you could use uh, dispensers to spit out the the uh, the stand, and then another dispenser to poop out all these things, and you know have a have an instant push button uh, shooting range. And uh, it's not quite going to work. So we're having another idea. Wow. Whoa. Dobbs, you're you're freaky, man. Uh, we have another idea me and Red came up with that uh, would be kind of a system to where carts would go in and out of a dark, uh, uh, you know, mob spawning area. So the carts would be going uh, back and forth, back and forth, and be kind of like a, a duck shooting range from the old carnivals, you know? So where they, they're just like on conveyor belts. So I was thinking carts going in and out of things like that. I don't know. Uh, there's, there's a lot of... Uh, potential ways this won't work, but I like the idea, so we're going to try to make a shooting range eventually. Uh, anyway, kind of babbling, so let's get back to work down here. Oh, there's a pigman. What? The hell did he get in here for? How did he get in here? Boom! Boom! Weird. All right, back to work. All right, it's time to get a few baby coos in here to have a little experimental. Ex there for experimental purposes. <laughs> Look at all these little baby coos. Come on, baby coos. You're gonna be bullets. <laughs> well, actually, you're the ones that are gonna grow up, and your offspring are gonna be little baby cow bullets. Come on, fit in here. I think you'll all fit in here. Come on, come on. Oh no, no, I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh. They're like, no, nah, we want our parents. We want our parents. Got rid of the wheat. Crack is love, crack is life. Wow. All right. <laughs> thanks, thanks for that. <laughs> Come on, baby coos. Baby coos, you guys have short attention spans. Look at the wheat. Look at the wheat. Ah, baby coo. Don't die. Don't die. Oh. All right, we can fill one at a time. We need, I'm, I'm going for 32 in each. That way there's 128 total. That way we'll go through one stack of wheat per breeding. That sounds about right, right? Yeah. 32 in four different slots. Sounds good to me. All right, baby coos, get in here. Get in here. You all grow up. You all produce many a, many a baseball glove. Many a baseball glove. That's what your kids will be. Sorry to say. Your brothers and sisters and siblings and... Uh, well, that's all your offsprings. You're all going to be steak. Eventually, I'll probably purge you all, because you'll get all stringy and old. Get in there, baby coo. Get in there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Come on, baby coo. Baby coo. Now, if I hit the button, they would all go springing out. Hey, you know, I could test it. Right? All right, let's test it. Boom! All right, now, when that's loaded... Oh, no. Oh, no. Baby coos. All right, yeah, get up here. Oh, no, they're going to get stuck in there. Oh, no. No. All right, just take the water out. They'll be fine. Oh, I think it might be. they might be dying. Oops. No. Okay. Good. Whew. Thought I was savagely killing all the baby coos. All right, so it works. It's going to work. That's good. That's good. That's all I really want to check. Come on, all y'all. All y'all little baby coos. All right. Uh, I'm going to get some more filled in here, do a little more building, and I will be back. It seems to be a success thus far. All righty, people. Check this out. I got a lot of cows in there. Uh, had a slight mishap with Dobbs. He came in just poking around while I was doing things, and all the baby, the cows were babies, hit the button. <laughs> uh, it took like a half hour for me to get them all in there, and then they all just scattered and... <laughs> ran out i wish i had gotten that but uh yeah i got i got the mechanics laid out there's probably some quirks to take care of i had to put signs down there so they didn't drown and got the water to make sure they all flush down here otherwise they just sit there and moo with their mamas up there and uh everything like that i got this going on down here where you can make sure they're all flowing up properly i got a button down here i actually haven't used this button yet but it's a button to release them all 
from down here. You, there's a release up there and down here, but I was thinking it would be pretty cool to get the view down here, and you can just watch them all shoot into there. Um, it's a li They do shoot a little bit more, but I kind of pictured before making this that they would shoot quite a bit more, but uh, I I'm still pretty happy with it. So let's feed these hungry cows. Oh, stand at attention, boys. <laughs> wow, they do love that wheat. So let's get them hopping. Get the party started up in here. Ooh, that's going to lag it down. Duplo is right. That's a whole bunch of packets. Get to making that love. Get to making that cow love. Okay, they got some. Get you. Big old cow orgy party. <laughs> Horny cows. Actually, none of them are horned at all. Are all these female cows? I don't know. I guess that is what a cow is, huh? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, tell me about something, people. I notice when you wheat babies, uh, they get the, the like the effect that bone mealing does. Ooh, wow, serious lag. Okay, stop the hopping. Party is over. All right. So there's a bunch of babies in there. Let's go use this button down here. Uh, anyway, I want to know if it helps them grow faster or what. So three, two, one. <laughs> oh shit! Wow, actually, with all those cows in there, that uh, that works really well. <laughs> it's like a cannonball. <laughs> Let's see if there's any more. <laughs> oh, look at all that XP, too. Damn. Oh, oh, you know what? I could flush that XP out with the water. That was crazy. That was awesome. <laughs> That's actually better than I thought. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Let's see if that XP is flowing. Nice, nice. Let's see if I can get it before it goes. I don't know. Can I get it right here? Probably not. Oh, well. No big whoop. I got an XP farm. Oh, wow. That was crazy good. And so, oh, yeah. Let's go watch them suck up to the top. I didn't show you that part. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I hope nobody's out here with, like, a creeper going to blow me up. All right. So I got a, a holding cell out here. They come up the water elevator. This is all, this is all from just that batch we just seen. Uh, I forgot totally to show you. Oh, I guess they're catching a little damage up there. Oh, it's not that big a deal, though, because they're not going to die. And so basically you stand here, and uh, this is generally for the looting sword. I'm probably going to make some additions to uh, make them auto-cooking, but I'm probably going to put some fire aspect on my looting sword and just go with it from there. Uh, because that's probably the best way to do this, because... Uh, we don't want to do it that often, and with a looting sword, you get mad stakes. But, so, I mean, I can't even cut their heads right here, right? So, as soon as they grow up, and uh, I think it's 20 minutes, you just swing away, and, and they'll all, you know, they'll all perish. And it'll collect in the hopper, do it there. And I figure with this, whoa, with this one batch, uh, we'll see how many it does, or how many stakes and leathers we get. How many cows do we got here right now? Let's see if we can count that. No, no way. 80? No, there's got to be, like, enemies back here or something. 40. Let's go with 40. That sounds better. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll bet there's 40 in there. Anyway, we're going to see in a few minutes uh, how many how many that is. And uh, I'll return then. There they go. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. Come on, last little baby cow. Come on. You know you wanna. Boom. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we are gonna have to keep this open so we can get the XP. Huh. I don't like that, but hey. Gotta do what you gotta do. All right, what's with that one last little baby cow? He's been very insupportive. Oh, there he goes, I think. Nope, there he is. Come on. Pop up, bro. Brother. He's got one cow leg. <laughs> All right, let's just start cutting them. Let's start cutting them. See how many we get. What was it? It was 40? Let's call it 41. 41. 40, but one won't grow. He's a... He's a midget. Pygmy. Midget. All right. Cut, 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 uh. cut. Let's get this XP on my face. Yeah, level 30. That's how he goes. All right, there's two left in there being all insubordinate. The pick-up and the meats? Nope. Hopper got it all. 
You little baby coos. How dare you? All right, what did it give us? Oh, it's still counting it in. All right, at least a stack of meat so far. Should be more than that. It should be at least two beef per cow. Uh, well, it looks like there might have only been 30, 30 cows because there's still something behind here. Anyway, what did it give us? Still counting the leather, so that's good to, oh yeah, okay. Definitely, definitely gave us two, two beef per cow for sure. Maybe three, depending on if there were 30 or not. Uh, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. And if there was fire aspect, they'd be cooked already. No big deal, I got a decent furnace and I'm, my, one of my next projects is going to be an industrial furnace to just cook I don't know I'm thinking uh, I don't know if I want to go with 8 furnace or 16 furnace you know because I like to go in the increments of the 8 the same thing the game does you know because if you do it in the right setup you get 64 let's get rid of that witch ah uh, ooh Where's my, where is it where is it where my looting sword go let's just attack her head on she won't even know what hit her dun 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 uh. Oh, you don't want none of this. Boom. Get lost, witch. All right, so that's the cow farm. It doesn't look good at all right now. I made it all in glass to show you like parts like this. I'll probably remake this. Um, now the job is to uh, make it look pretty or at least decent because right now it's bare bones. Bare steak and bones. <laughs> all right. Anyway, uh, what's the next project? I don't know because I'm probably going to move on from this for a minute, take a break, come back and design it. Uh, show you what I've done in the, in the other places I've done things. <laughs> Let's party, cows! <laughs> How about that FPS, huh? Wow. <laughs> Let's go look at something cool, Duplo. I've been working on my place a little bit. A little bit. Gotta do this off camera because it's so tedious. Oh, you didn't make it. Oh, I needed water bottles. Oh well, I'll get them. Oh, oh, stay, stay down, stay, stay. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll come down here. <laughs> no. I made a secret door. Can you find it? No. Well, I'll look around a minute. Don't just say no. Uh... No? Nothing? No. What? That's pretty neat. Where is the door? Oh, what? Been working cool. a little. Yeah, still in the progress. I'm. I don't like the wood I have here, but what do you think? How'd you get so many bookcases? Uh, sugar cane and cows, man. And what are they good for? Uh, well, you have to have them for your enchanting table, and then the rest is decoration. Like you have to have fifteen for this to work right. That's see all the letters flying off into it. That makes the enchanting table work properly and high powered. The rest around here are just, you know, looks. The ones up here looks. It's all looks. Aesthetics. Uh, Still don't know about the floor. I'm probably gonna put a roof in. Like I said, I'm in a work in progress of putting it all together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You like them melons, don't you? You like to eat a lot of melon. Mm -hmm. Well I don't have kind of you know, like two hundred cows. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Pretty neat, huh? Extremely cool. Yeah. What's this slime block for? Uh, it's what is it's what I chose to use for pulling, because uh, it's kind of hard to explain. So, stand back a little. I'll explain it over here. So, watch it in action. So that that don't, didn't do it, but okay. See this piston in the back that's not being used right now. It pushes it over to that spot, and the slime block, what a slime block does is takes everything attached to it with it. So it pushes this piston with it into the power, which pushes it forward, right? Mm. 
<clears throat> yeah, it's kind of complex. I had to like put it together properly, and if like if you mess up the repeaters, it won't work right. Well, and, there's so much you can do with that. How many blocks can you move? Uh, five total because it will take all sides and the top, everything that's surrounding it, basically. Uh, I have the furnaces up here because they are not affected by it. Uh, there's like I think that probably obsidian isn't affected by it. Uh, maybe maybe an enchanting table. Not sure. But so everything else would go like watch. Here's a perfect example. See how it went with it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that I just chose to use that because it takes the the piston with it. And then this wood piece down here, you notice it's on a button, but it's toggling. Because I use the T flip flop that's buried under you. Alright, the T-flip-flop. Yeah, the T-flip-flop, man. Yeah. I'm thinking about putting chests right here, stacking them up for books and such. Like, you walk in, you'll see the books. If you don't want to use them, you can... Or, I don't know, maybe you'll use this for the anvil spot. Not sure, because I need an anvil in here as well. Pretty nifty. Why do you enchant over here, though? Well, being that I collect the levels here... You know, every time I was running back to my enchantment table, well, if I'm collecting levels and just, like, say, farming books or whatever, uh, I, I don't have to go far. It was a, It's a convenience thing, and I just want to kind of build a library. Okay. Maybe I'll just put the anvil in one of these spots, because I don't need much space for an anvil. Maybe one in each spot. There we go. That's what I'll do with those spots. There we go. I figured it out. Oh. Spots. These spots, I'll put anvils and like a little lava backdrop behind it or something. Um, maybe if the books won't get burnt. Mm. We'll see. I would hate for to put that there and have this place go burning up. <laughs> very nifty though, huh? You're very, very nifty, ditch. All right. Cool. Cool beans. Surprised me every time. Right on. Well, let's go figure out something else to build, Duplo. Woo! Yay. Yay. <laughs> Alrighty, people. It is time for me to go. I've pushed the limit on the time today. Look at all the cows with cow legs. Isn't that funny? <laughs> no, I just bred them real quick. I had to hit this, this cannon button again one more time. This was so funny. Uh, but anyway, if you like this episode today, peeps, leave a like. And if you're new to the show, subscribe and you'll be getting a ton more. Uh, I've been playing a little Arma too. What do you What do you mind? I know my my channel regularly likes Arma, but what do you Minecraft people think? Do you play Arma as well? Uh, I don't know. Leave a comment below. Uh, I'm thinking about making some video there. We've been playing it every night lately, but uh, yeah, uh, let's see this cannonball action one more time. And like I said, if you like it, leave a like, subscribe. As always, peeps, stay gaming, and thanks for watching. I nailed it. Fuck yeah. I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yes, they bounced back. <laughs> nice, I love it. I I love this. Oh, and the cool thing is, I thought all this all by myself. I mean, I I got the one cell thing from people like yo a year and a half ago, but the cannon bomb or the the cow cannon. <laughs> so funny. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, later, peeps.